presentations. Questions during the presentation can be typed in the chat and we'll answer at the end of the presentation. Once we open things for the questions, you can go ahead and ask the questions. And this presentation is going to be recorded. Uh, my name is uh, Salman Shahid, and I will be the project manager for this project. Uh, I want to take a moment to thank uh, Council Member Kelly Gray for joining us tonight. Uh, Council Member Gray, would you like to share anything before we begin? Just want to say this project is a long time coming. Thank you, everybody, um, for being on the call tonight to uh, our staff and to the citizens. And uh, just look forward to the presentation. And I hope everybody is staying safe and staying warm. Thanks. Thank you, Council Member. All right. So, um, So this is this is this project is uh, Highland Hills, and we'll be doing a street rehabilitation in this area uh, on the Highland Hills. Uh, this project is uh, is going to be divided into two phases uh, that I'm going to talk about. Uh, first, let's go on uh, with the uh, little introduction of uh, who is involved in the project. Uh, I I am the city uh, project manager. Uh, my name is Salman Shahid, and uh, Neil Kaim would be the city inspector. And uh, we have uh, two contractors in this project. One of them would be doing the concrete work, uh, the flat work before we do the pav paving of the, of the streets. So the um, flat work or the concrete work would be done, done by the Moco Incorporation. And uh, the pavement would be done by the uh, TPW staff in house. We have uh, approximately uh, 3 million uh, allocated for this project, uh, out of which uh, about 1 million is going to be for the concrete uh, and flat work, which, which would be done by the uh, contractor, Maku Incorporation. The project is anticipated to uh, uh, start on February 27, and uh, it's gonna, for the first phase, it's gonna last until uh, October 2021, where we uh, we'll be uh, doing all the repair works on the uh, sidewalks and the curbs and gutters. So, as I said, that the project is uh, in two phases. Uh, before we do any asphalt paving work, we want to make sure that the uh, the curbs and gutters around it is uh, is in good condition and it can uh, uh, take up the new asphalt. Uh, so that's why we are doing the in phase one, we are going to repairing uh, the uh, curbs and gutters and uh, driveway approaches if it is required. And uh, we'll also be doing uh, some ramps in the area, which, which would be the ADA compliant. And uh, we'll also be repairing the existing sidewalks, if any, in the area. So for the uh, construction duration for the phase one, it would be from February to 20, uh, October 2021. And uh, we'll be doing uh, the concrete work during this time. So here's the project uh, limits for the uh, sidewalks. This is actually the uh, sidewalks that we identified uh, uh, the existing sidewalks that we identified in this area. And we'll be uh, repairing all uh, those uh, sidewalks that needs uh, that are dangerous or uh, uh, needs to be repaired. Uh, and if it has any kind of hazard, we would just like try to eliminate it by replacing that uh, pieces of the sidewalks that needs to be replaced. So uh, there's also, uh, we've seen a lot of uh, sidewalk gaps in between. Uh, like there's a missing sidewalks uh, in between the sidewalks and we'll be going uh, ahead and going to be uh, placing uh, sidewalks to uh, fill those gaps. But remember, we are not, uh, this is a maintenance project and uh, there are some of the areas uh, where we don't have any sidewalks at all. So we would not be touching that area. So right now uh, we are in process of like identifying uh, all those, uh, all those areas that are 
uh, that needs repair and you might uh, see some of the uh, marking signs uh, which are being identified and needs to be repaired. Uh, besides from the, the sidewalks, we are also uh, going through uh, all the routes uh, to look into uh, damaged curbs and gutters and also uh, the approach driveways which are in very bad condition and needs to be replaced before we uh, put this wall on, on top. All the existing ramps would also be uh, converted into the ADA compliant ramps and you will be seeing uh, uh, new ramps on uh, on this area. And if there's no ramp, we would, we would be uh, adding a ramps and uh, and if uh, uh, one of the ramps, there's a few, we see a few of the ramps over there which are not ADA compliant and we'll also change them to ADA compliant ramps. Uh, here's the example of the um, work that we are going to be doing in phase one. The picture on, on your left, uh, it is the uh, actual picture of this area. And uh, this is the example of the con uh, concrete curb and uh, approns. Uh, you see that um, the, uh, the curb is in really bad condition and the water is like pouring over here. That's why it's causing a lot of mess and uh, also damaging the existing pavement. So we'll we'll go ahead and replace such kind of uh, curbs and we're gonna replace it with the new ones. The picture on your right uh, you see is the example of how how it will be after after we do our work. Uh, similarly, we see over here, there's a, uh, there's no ramp on the left side. This is also the actual picture of the Highland Hills. And uh, we, we're going to be uh, putting up an ADA compliant ramp, just like similar to the one that you see on, on the right side. This is just for an example. Uh, we are going to be uh, putting up the ramps as, as required uh, according to the area and direction of the crossing. Uh, so th this is one of the example of the existing uh, sidewalk that is damaged. Uh, this is uh, a tripping hazard over here. And I mean, it, it's barely a walkable uh, sidewalk. So we, we're going to be identifying all such kind of sidewalks in this area, which are already exist. And we're going to be replacing with the new ones. And the picture on the right is just an example of uh, a new sidewalk that we recently placed in another area. So for the uh, phase two, we, we, will, be, we will be doing uh, uh, the uh, asphalt paving, and in this phase, we'll be doing almost all the area uh, of this neighborhood, uh, and we'll be paving all the existing uh, pavements. And uh, this is uh, the project limits, and uh, you can see almost all the roads are marked, except for the main or group road. So we we'll, we will be paving all those roads. So here here on your left side you you can see the uh, existing uh, pavement condition right now, and uh, uh, on your right you can see the example of how it will be turned out once the paving is done. Uh, during the construction, you will uh, experience uh, some kind of uh, temporary construction impacts. And it could be, uh, you could see additional construction equipment around your area. Uh, you might see a limited uh, parking availabilities and you might hear some uh, sounds of uh, equipment running or some dust going on around. But we are trying our best and we have instructed our contractor also to take uh, take good care of these things 
and to minimize uh, the impact of this construction, uh, we are putting up the signages uh, around the around the sites, so everyone is aware of uh, of the construction going on. Uh, any temporary closure would be communicated communicated in advance to the uh, residents. Uh, we will uh, we will inform uh, the concerned uh, resident if if we had to do any work on the driveway or if we have to close uh, some kind of some driveways or or so. So uh, the uh, we, the construction equipment will not be uh, staged in the area that prohibit resident residential access and parking. So we are making sure that uh, there's no uh, equipment on the uh, road that is blocking any kind of access of parking in, in the driveway approaches. Any changes to the garbage and US Postal Service will be communicated in advance to all the residents. And uh, uh, throughout the construction, uh, communication is our top priority and we'll, we'll be informing uh, uh, the changes throughout the construction to all the residents. Uh, so we have regular uh, city working hours are uh, uh, allowed for the contractor hours for Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you will just uh, be, uh, you'll see the workers working on during this time only. In some cases, on a, uh, if needed, we'll be uh, issuing a permit to work on weekends but that uh, totally depends on uh, the, that if it's necessarily required. And it will be informed uh, before we, we do anything in that area. So this is uh, my contact information. I'm the project manager and this is my contact number. You can call me if you have any, any questions, any concerns. Uh, and following is my email address also. We'll also be displaying the construction office uh, phone number, contact number in case of emergency. Uh, we'll have we'll be having a signage project signages around the area, and uh, you can contact them if um, if you need anything, or I'll be happy to help uh, if required. So now I'll uh, open it for the questions. Uh, if you have any, please go ahead. Or I'll uh, also uh, say Riyad Nasrullah is also with us. He is the senior professional engineer with us. And uh, we'll try to answer as, uh, your questions as much as we can. So, Mom, we do have two questions in chat. Uh, if we would start with those. Uh, the first one is from Jerome, and he's asking if a street doesn't have sidewalks currently, will that street get new sidewalks installed? So we we are currently not, uh, unfortunately, our budget does not uh, allow us to uh, complete all the sidewalks. Uh, if the block does not have a sidewalk at all, so we will not be able to do that on under this project for this limited budget. But yes, if, if there is no sidewalk and you're in front of your uh, in front of your house and uh, you have sidewalks on both ends of the block and there's just a missing missing uh, sidewalk, then we will we will go ahead and complete that uh, small gap to fill up between the two sidewalks. Thank you, Salman. His other question is, uh, can we give a general estimate of how long it will take to complete construction uh, per block? Uh, so each block that is effective, is there a rough estimate of time? Uh, so the uh, contractual completion date for the concrete uh, uh, flat work with the contractor is 230 days. Uh, but we will not be uh, doing all the work during time. Uh, we are st uh, starting street by street. Uh, so we'll be starting from the west uh, Westmost corner and uh, from uh, Rami Avenue, I guess. So we'll be updating for the schedule to the uh, to the impacted people around that uh, around that area. But it would really it depends on how much work each street has. Uh, but overall construction duration is until October for the whole. But remember, this is for for the whole uh, neighborhood. But we'll be doing uh, things much faster 
if you're concerned about a specific um, street or a road. Yeah, uh, good evening, everyone. This this is Riyadh on uh, on the town bear block. It's it's gonna hard because because the, the contractor gonna be walking for into more one block. If you have ramps on the each block, I think it has like about four ramps. Each ramp will take two days because one day to remove and form it, and it takes another day to pour the concrete. And it takes also a few days to cure it after that. That's doing for phase one, um, which is probably the whole thing. If you work on one block and just consume one block, they'll finish those. And, and again, it depends on how much concrete work needs to be replaced or sidewalk. So each, each block is a bit different, but, but average of probably, I could say not more than two weeks to finish each, each block. For phase two of the paving, uh, we're going to have to mill each block to mill. We can probably mill the whole neighborhood and probably in less than a week. And if that's all complete, the, the paving will take, we, we put the duration here for paving till, till October of next year. But because of the weather and we had get lots of rainy days, you know, from, from, from March to May, sometimes it goes crazy on us, the weather. And before that, it's, it's, it's cold. We have to be like 55 and a rising temperature to bear. But if the weather is, is good, we can bear the whole the whole area in a couple of months. It's not, it doesn't take that long to bear. If you want to look at each block by block, if we do block by block, it's half day uh, milling and half day pavement. But it's unfortunate it doesn't work that way. We have to work in the whole area. Thank you, Riyad. Uh, Sonia asked a question. Um, there was a temporary fix done on Oak Grove yesterday. Um, will we keep patching until the work is complete? Uh, we are not doing any uh, pavement work right now. Uh, we just starting with the sidewalks and the curbs and gutter. Uh, I believe uh, they've. I I also uh, saw that there was some kind of water leak. I don't know if you're talking about that area, and water department was doing some uh, repair work over there and patchwork over there. But when we will be paving, we will be paving it uh, all at once. Yeah, uh, prior to start the paving, which is during the duration of phase one, you're gonna have uh, uh, probably the gas company coming in. Uh, adjust their lines. So normally you do that uh, prior to paving because we don't want anybody to come and cut uh, a brand new paving within at least two or three years. So we get all the utilities at the front to come and, and, and adjust wherever they, they need to adjust. So you would see the gas company begin and, and uh, especially if they have some ramps right in the middle of the ramp where we're going to construct the ramp. So you're going to see them working during during the period of, of phase one. So this way we'll get everything ready for phase two. We have a few more questions coming in through chat now. Um, will will there be additional black topping on the existing street? Yes, sir. That's that's the phase two. That's what we're doing phase two. What are we going to do? We're going to re, uh, remove or mill the top two inches of the existing surface, and we're going to replace it with the new two inches. And if there's uh, some base failures that will be taken care of, we'll take care of that before we start the paving. We do that, then we melt the street, and we'll put a new tub on it. Yes, it will be tub, unlike uh, the one the pictures I mentioned earlier, before and after. So that's what the seed is going to look like when we when we finish. But that's that will be in phase two. Phase one. Only for concrete work, carbon gear, sidewalk, ramps. Okay, great. Uh, one of the new questions is will this in some way affect our house taxes, property taxes? Uh, hope not. This is not, uh, it's not home improvements. I know if you improve your house, add to the house, get permits, uh, that goes through the tax and I think that's. We don't deal with taxes, but no, 
So I'm visible in this, the, sea, the streets? Absolutely not. But if the, your tax goes up, it has nothing to do with improving the street. All right, thank you. Um, Sonia says it's Oak Grove and Glasgow Road, uh, Salmon, uh, where the patching was done. So if we could look into that, uh, that would be be good to see if that was our team. So. Yeah, you, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see some patching from here till till we pave the entire road. If there is some some areas needed, some areas failed. We're going to have our crew to go and fix it to keep it safe till we get to it. Also, you're going to see some uh, water department, sometimes unexpected leaks, like we just uh, saw the past few days was leaking, and I think they're working on it now. Yeah, those uh, unprotected, we don't know, you know, could happen any time, but nothing really planned. Uh, and the, the last question in the chat is, does this project have a uh, relation to the Oak Grove freeway exit construction? Uh, no, sir. This is just maintaining the existing asset, the existing streets. Yeah, an improvement to the highway that uh, goes through tax dot projects. But no, this is not going to impact in any other projects. Um, council member, uh, if we're referring to the, the question on, will the crews continue to patch during, uh, up until repaving? Yes. Um, crews will continue to go through there and patch as needed. Um, there's another portion of Oak Grove road between Inglad and campus needs to be striped. Um, when is that going to be done? Uh, you know, it's a separate project, but we've yeah, been waiting we, for the road to be stretched since July. So, yeah, we just paved the the the, the road, and uh, our uh, pavement marking contractor is really way behind. Uh, we waiting on for to do. We did a couple of streets with the Vermont Parkway. I think they just finished it uh, a few days ago, and we've been waiting for that for about a month. And we had one before it was selling at Wards with oh, probably more than a month. So we are we are we are working with our uh, traffic uh, management team and uh, the striping contractor, and we will strike. But you know uh, we can uh, you know if somebody have questions worth if you leave us your phone number we'll uh, we'll call you and let you know the schedule. But it will be striped. Yes, it's it's in it's, it's in the process of uh, scheduling it. And the contractor, unfortunately, not given us exact schedule because of the of the weather, and uh, also they're they're running behind. And he's seeing also I don't know he's seeing based on COVID. He's have some of his uh, workers are being taken off. So we've had a few more questions. Um, Sonia specifically asking about a street that's not in the project area about it continuing to get patched. Um, can one of you discuss how that process works with our operations side? Which street is that? Is it is it in the neighborhood or different neighborhood? Uh, I think it's I think it, is it Oak Grove that we're actually discussing, but that's not part of the project. Oak Grove. It's they talk about the concrete. Right, or Grove itself. Correct. Yeah, actually, Oak Grove. Yes. Yeah, Oak Grove is concrete. We'll uh, also uh, we'll we'll go ahead and schedule that when we do uh, phase two, probably the same uh, the, the the year, the following year, because this this year very much uh, all our contracts out and we can't add anything to it, but we'll uh, we'll add it to. The next year program to replace those damaged panels. So what are we going to do? With it? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I believe Sony also asked about the Glasgow Road. Uh, we'll be doing the uh, paving on Glasgow Road, but not on the Oak Grove Road. No, all this is we're doing. This project is uh, to we pave in the asphalt, 
and the whole area is asphalt except Oak Grove Road, all the way down to Lime Rock Drive. Hi guys, this this yeah. this is Kelly, and I'm gonna jump in here because I can't okay. type fast enough for this conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so let me tell you what Sonia is asking about because we we're I, I think we're mixing a whole bunch of things together. Sonia is specifically talking about Oak Grove Road. Um, you're right, that is the concrete piece that is at Glass Glow. It has a dip. I don't think it necessarily started out with the dip, but it could be that maybe that the street has collapsed at some point. Um, so it is creating an issue. So as cars come through, they are bottoming out. So yesterday or day before someone came, well, some obviously TPW came and put some temporary, um, asphalt there, some temporary, whatever, street material, because I don't know exactly what you call it, but they put it there and the concern is, is that that washes away. That is just simply a temporary fix to get to, we don't know what's next. How do we have somebody look at that street and determine what needs to happen to bring it back to standard? I, that's what she's asking specifically. Yes, ma'am. No problem. I'll I'll go look at it uh, tomorrow, and if it's something really uh, hazardous, we'll we'll uh, we'll see if we can we can repair it quick. But if it's just the way you describe it, I drove the road a couple of times last week, but I didn't really notice. But I'll look at it again, and if it's, it's really it's major thing. We'll we'll jump into it. So can we also, Sonia, I'm sorry, y'all, because it's just easy for me to click in. Sonia, will you put your address and your phone number, if you feel comfortable, in the chat so that um, Jeffrey can get that information to reach out to you, if that's okay with you all? That work? Yeah, yes, ma'am, no problem. And I will be, we'll, we'll be happy to, to, to meet with you, Sonia, uh, on the site and, and, and look at it and chat with you on it, Sophia. You will. And Otherwise, Sonia, you, you, you don't have send to. That to me. Yeah. You, you can send that to me privately as well, Sonia, through a private chat if you don't want to post it for everybody there, and I'll I'll make sure it gets to Riyadh's team. Thank you, Sonia. I got it. I'm kind of new to this, guys. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can. We can. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm not tech savvy. But yes, what Kelly was saying is exactly correct. I've been calling since last year. Uh, towards the end of November, beginning of December, because every time I called, they would come out and put asphalt in as if it was a pothole. But I finally spoke with someone from the street crew who told me I needed a street repair. So if the concrete was actually starting to collapse inward, they came out yesterday, put some asphalt in it, but as the cars start to drive over it, the asphalt is just going to go down and the dip is going to come back. And that's why I was asking, will we continuously continue to patch it until y'all actually fix it? Or how do we address that? Yeah, again, we'll, we'll look at it. If something has a this keep going down, definitely we'll get we'll get into it. Uh, the reason for the for the for the asphalt and you're going to see lots of asphalt on concrete uh, citywide because our crew go and, and put the asphalt to keep it safe till we get to it because it's uh, we have limited budget to do to do concrete and we're really really behind with that but uh, if it's if it's really needed uh, immediate attention we'll uh, put it on top of the priority uh, i will look at it and then and, and something we can do quickly we'll do it okay thank you yeah. thank you well. kelly I 
anyone else has questions, feel free to unmute it at this point. There aren't any more questions in chat, so um, feel free to unmute if you have anything else you'd like to ask. I'm not hearing anything else. Um, Salman, would you back up a slide and, and put your contact information up one more time for everyone? Okay, I live at the corner of Mansdale in Glasgow, and the sidewalks on both are decaying it's down into the earth. Uh, when will you, do you all have an estimated time where I will be doing that in this area? On Mansfield and Glasgow? Menzel. Menzel, okay, you're down. <laughs> Shut up. Menzel and Glasgow. Yeah, those, if you don't have, if you don't have sidewalk at all, this is yes, normally we have, have to. Five. If, if we you have, have sidewalk. Yeah, if you have sidewalk, yes. we'll 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 repair the the. If it needs if it needs repair, we'll repair it during this project phase one. Okay. Do we have to call in, or you all automatically come out and check? No, no, no. It's it's whatever. Uh, can you, Salma? Can you put the map back there for the sidewalk, please? Okay. Thank you. No, yeah. Uh, I this, believe. The, uh, yeah, this I believe in class too. Sorry, um, I believe Mansell and Glasgow. We saw that there were some missing sidewalks, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put the new ones over there. Yeah, anything anything in red, anything in red here. They already have sidewalks, and there is missing sidewalk. We call them gaps, just nothing in between. We will connect it, so it's gonna be a continuation from block to the to the block. So anything you see in red here, if any sidewalk is damaged, we're gonna replace it. We can upgrade all the ramps. Uh, I think all of them that's need to be to be replaced because they're not uh, up to current ADA requirements. And if there is missing pieces, yes, we will we will replace it. The one we're talking about, we're not doing sidewalk. The area that not marked red, which is they don't have sidewalk at all. So we're not doing anything that in those areas as a sidewalk. But if there is curbs broken, we will fix that. And this is also for the Hensley Drive area, right? Hensley Drive. Uh, Hensley Drive, we only go into Minsel. We're not continuing all the way to Decorey. Because it doesn't have You guys subject. are going to do what for Hensley? I'm sorry. We, on, on Hensley, on Hensley uh, we're going to do re re replace broken curb, uh, uh, sidewalks. Curbside. On, on he and yeah, uh, yes. On, and on. we do not have to sign up for this because I know when I first purchased this house years ago, everybody on this at this end of Hensley were getting their curb pill, you know, curbside rebuild and stuff. But my house was the only one that didn't get it, and I didn't understand why. So that's why I'm on this call now to make sure that if I need to sign up for something, I need my curb appeal looking. Good, just like the other people. Yeah, are are you are you between uh, Oak Grove and Mins and? Uh, uh, no, Mr. I'm at the further end of Hensley Drive, and I don't even know the name of the street, so I'm so sorry. But this I know. Is, uh, this, yeah, uh, 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 it's Hensel. It's, you're in Hensel itself, right? Yes, I'm on Hensley. Yeah, yeah. Hensley. It's possibly out near Limbury. Yes, yes. And, and you do have sidewalk in your block, right? I don't have a sidewalk. I just have a curb appeal. My yeah, the curb, curb is actually messed up. Oh, the curb, we will, we're going to replace all the damaged curb within the whole entire area. Okay, uh, without me yeah. having to sign up or anything, no, no, because no. like I stated, like I stated years ago when they did the pavement and everything, 
everybody around me were getting their curb appeal rebuild and all the cracks were being filled, but mine didn't. So, like I stated, that's the only reason why I'm on this call today, to make sure that if I have to sign up for it, I'm here to sign up for it now because it needs to be done. No, ma'am. Anything? All the streets on this map, uh, go to the next map, please, so, ma'am. Okay, okay. Just making sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah no problem. Uh, anything, all of those red marked streets? We will take care of all the curbs. If it's damaged, we will replace it. We're not gonna we're not gonna remove all of them. If it's good, we keep it. But if it's damaged, it will be replaced before we pave the road. Thank you very Brianna, much. I believe she's Brianna. on the phone, so she can't actually she can't actually see the map. Uh, but she's a caller. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you you will you will take care. We will take care of your curb, ma'am. No problem. And, okay, thank uh, you. Yeah, and if you would like, we'll, we'll be happy to come and meet with you on the side to look at it, see, make sure that we, we're on the same page since you cannot see the map. Uh, please give us a call or email, and we'll be happy to come and meet with you and, and, and see what can we help you with. Shouldn't okay, I will, I will do that. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. No. Any other questions? All right, I think uh, that'll wrap it up. Everyone enjoy your evening, try to stay warm. Um, we will go ahead and uh, stop the recording and please feel free to reach out to Salman uh, if any questions do arise during the project. Uh, his phone number is 817-392-7968. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. Have a good yeah, evening. Uh, please, yeah, before you go, uh, see, uh, please, uh, because we did not see uh, lots of people joined the meeting here, please uh, reach out to your neighbors, let them know, and give them the number. If you have questions, we'll be happy to answer it or meet with them. So I know lots of people did not show up. So, yeah, just spread the word. We appreciate it. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you all for joining. Uh, have a good evening. Thanks. Thank you all.